shootings like this one could be much more common and include more people in Madison this week. Today, some union leaders gathered to oppose right-to-work legislation in the state. Bigger rallies are scheduled for tomorrow and Wednesday at the Capitol. That's when lawmakers are set to begin talking about a right-to-work bill. Put simply, it would prevent employers from requiring workers to join a union. NBC 15's Kristen Mazur has a preview of what to expect around the Capitol tomorrow. Lee, you'll recall back in 2011, the battle over collective bargaining sparked massive protests. So the question is, are we in for a repeat? Well, signs right now suggest probably not, but preparations still being made. Two punches for you. Making sure that we got enough dough, enough pizza sauce, and enough cheese. What do pizzas have to do with politics? Maybe nothing, maybe lots. We're going to have everybody ready, and if it gets busy, we'll take care of it. Have a good night. Yeah, you as well. Ian's is gearing up for tomorrow, when the possibility that capital protests will bring in the dough. We support the democratic process and, uh, and pizza. 650 is the total. Ian's has seen it before. Back in 2011, mass protests at the Capitol over Act 10 being signed into law. Folks placed pizza orders from all over the world, telling Ian's to bring the pies to the protesters. I think the protests that we had here in Act 10 were historical. They were, they were something Wisconsin had never seen. Could the right to work debate have the same effect? Nick Novak says probably not. Well, we might see some protests. They, they most likely won't be as big. But then again, who knows? Regardless, police are ready. According to the Department of Administration, quote, the state Capitol Police and Department of Administration will work to to ensure all patrons of our state capitol are safe and secure. We will work to keep the capitol open and accessible as visitors come to share their opinions. I wouldn't doubt that uh, the unions are going to be doing their best to, to get folks out there. But on what scale is yet to be seen. And the American Federation of Labor and Congress of Industrial Organizations has filed a permit request for tomorrow's rally. Estimating 800 people will attend, although that's not how many the DOA is expecting.